Okay, Vino Black, folks, and basically you can see the title to my movie and everything right up here. The time and the local time and everything like that will end up being down here in the right-hand corner when I go to another screen. Uh, I basically always watch my movies blown up. <clears throat> Just started talking, I'm fine, and everything like that. Everybody always asks, how are you feeling? I mean, I'm, there ain't got nothing to worry about me. Now, the, this is a great key for when you're looking at what's going to hit Mars, which is C, 2013A1. Okay, Mars has a very thin atmosphere. Okay, it doesn't have an atmosphere like, and then you have magnetical, and when you know that Mars is magnetically connected to the sun, as you see, it's going to be going close to the right-hand side of Mars, okay? In its trajectory as it's coming through, okay? Uh, if you go to my video and freeze this map picture, this is the trajectory. The blue area is what this thing is going to be coming by when it comes, and even Mars is positioned correctly for the idea that that is basically the path in the swath on Mars that's probably going to get hit. Okay, either if it gets hit over here early, or if it gets hit here late. And this this is the whole kill zone area where this is going to hit on Mars. And it's going to hit it because of physics. Now, if it doesn't hit, we're going to know a good day before because we're going to know that it's far enough away that it wouldn't get. But magnetically, it's going to be a magnet to a magnet. Okay, because this thing is small, and it's magnet, and it's from the Big Bangs, and we are in a Big Bangs, Big Bangs, it's not just Big Bang, because of the directions that we see everything coming, and this is what I'm going to give you fresh, sketchy footage to show you the actual factual of that. Okay, it's not theory, it's actual fact. Everything what I deal with is fact. When I go through the theories of something, and then I get all the raw data and get it down to the actual fact, this is going to hit Mars, and if it doesn't, it's going to be the most dramatic physics uh, experiment that we've ever had. Forget the collider. Uh, you know that I'm a physicist. You know that I'm into uh, quantum and so forth and so on, such. The Earth particle and everything like that. We already have that. We can DNA and we can and we can clone. Okay, so we're just trying to study where the first big bangs and we're going the roadmap of what the in space is infinite. So it's going to be an infinite search. Uh, mankind until every man and human being that has a brain is dead on the face of the earth we're going to be constantly mapping out space space is infinite so and if we find a wall then we're really in trouble not really but theoretically if you're new to my channel and you have trouble navigating the internet or something like that I'm Beano Black I have an you go here and I have my original one which is Beano Black with no space and I'll also give you the link here to this video about Whack and Mars. And then what we're gonna do is, as soon as I do, put this down here and give you the link bigger so that if, in case you can't cut and paste, you don't know how, you can type all that in. And yeah, but you could even shorten it up. You could even go to YouTube and go into this window. You could even just, and if you know how to cut and paste, well, you can't cut and paste on the window. You see when the video's coming, but you can basically freeze it and type just V equals DK91. Actually, you could even probably type in DK9 and you have to do all the capitalizing and all the lowercase correctly. So you could actually type in, in this YouTube searcher line, you could probably just get away with that, but if you can't find it there, you could put the V in. V equals DK991 TIXVPQ with your capitalizing and your lowercase correct, okay? So there's just lots of people that are computer a little bit illiterate, a little bit illiterate, okay? If you're on the internet, you know how to turn your computer on, so you can figure a lot of stuff out. A hacker starts somewhere, right? If you get my site virally sent to you or something like that, I have plenty of links in my original channel. This is my original Beano Black channel here that you can look up. You look into that. And what they're even doing illegally is they've taken my Beano Black off. But it is Beano Black. That is me originally there. And then I had to go ahead of this. And you can click on this to get there. You can click on this to get there. And then I gave you the link to the... That video is linked up to my channel. So... And this one here, pretty much at my channel over here at Beano Black, explains why I can't upload videos here anymore. More than likely, I'm probably going to have a lawyer end up in court with a certain, maybe more than one entity that basically is, you know, degrading my and defacing me. Defamation of character, number one. And uh, there's all kinds of legal aspects of this, that the idea that you just can't strong arm somebody. Okay? So, it's strong arming. It's that simple. So... 
you can click there and go to my channel too. And then there's some of my first videos that I put up at this channel when I got this channel. Now let's go some more. We're going to go to some space, get over here and, and get out to the gnat's ass of what's going on. What we have is this is going to be some energy that you're going to see coming back from the behind Earth. And it's not Earth doing it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically show you the whole page here at this size. And then we're going to zoom in on this. Then you can end up researching and finding this one from Sechi and everything like that. Now you got the sun over here, CME, and if anybody's new, this is our planet that we found that I'm pretty damn sure that this is not Vesta. Okay? Uh, Earth is closer to the, the camera lens than that there so and we know that this is not Jupiter and we know that this is not Mercury okay actually what's quite interesting today is the factual that I need to go back some footage here on the with the 22nd and back and see what happened with Mercury Mercury's got such a tight swing that I think it's already came around the Sun here so close that and as you see we see we get some beautiful CME action coming off the Sun here the interesting spread out because what we are getting is filament eruptions right now. We're not getting a real CME blast. We are They are. They're a huge blast, don't get me wrong. And the number one thing, no matter what, is we need to concentrate on following the flow of the energy of the sun. Because it's pretty positive that this here is coming out from way out behind Earth. And it's affecting sun. And it's basically like a blink, a star blinking at another star, but a very huge one. It's blinking at the sun. Now, this is not... This is the Earth up here. Okay, that there is Earth. But as you see, this lower action is after Earth does what it does. You see, it actually even gets just before Earth does its. You see, you see how that. So now, what's interesting is see we. Why did what would be nice if they sh really should have swung? Maybe they did swing the satellite as far left as they could see it. Because see, this is Earth where I have my back of my cursor. That's Earth right there doing that. But this down here that you keep on seeing right here, and I'm going to speed this up a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better real fast. Because no matter what, we are getting that energy there and then we'll blow in on it. Because you're going to be able to see it easier. Now see, don't let this optical illusion, some people might get dizzy, you know, how they always warn you with Nintendo and everything like that. So Earth is doing it right here, okay? But there's a pulse that's down here that when we slow it down you'll be able to see it even more and it actually makes it more factual that this shows you that this pulsation that we have just below earth because earth is the one that's doing this flash right there okay that's earth in front of Sechi A and I'll maybe have time for the map in here real fast but the idea that everybody that's been watching the videos for a long time you ask any of my regulars and my regulars can comment this is earth it's absolutely earth right there okay and then we'll go to the 22nd and see what we get for footage showing you where Mercury's at and so forth and see if we can make sure that you realize that if you're new here that you'll understand that I know exactly where everything's at. And actually, I in one of my recent videos, I even told somebody that they need to uh, put a retraction. Now, when I slow it down, you can see that pulse. And we look like we got it at a good speed. Now, the only thing that someone could possibly try to say, but as I slow it down more, you can see this pulse that is down here okay and it's large and it goes up and it almost looks like it hits earth and it, maybe it does maybe we've been getting some energy from the back direction other than than the sun but this comes in here I'm gonna slow it down you're gonna know that that pulse down here this broader area here which I'm gonna blow up a little bit I'm gonna blow up to like 400 so you can kinda of see it a little bit better okay we know the sun's to the right the big wave electrical and it's all electrical ladies and gentlemen in nanoparticle dust okay atomic energy and that's what's bad about radiation radiation does spread it's it's death death dust invisible death dust then when we get down to this side you can see it even more that that's not mm, there's a slight possibility that it's coming off the sun as you see that we're seeing this wave of electrical energy come in but it really does look that it's connecting with another star and it is it's it's another star just like I've said to begin with this that you're seeing here this energy here because I'm going to slow this down a little bit more I'm going to slide down now no matter what earth is to the left here doing this flare right there we've seen earth flaring and doing its magnetical see it's a static balloon connection you know you take a balloon and you rub it on your head and it's statically electrically connected to uh, and I'm going to slow it down some more it's 
statically, you take a balloon, you may, most people might have figured out in the last video I was trying to get the point across, just, you just take a static balloon. Earth is a small, the tiniest one that we have pretty much in the solar, well it isn't the tiniest one because the smallest object that has that static cling is Mercury. I gotta hurry up and get over to the, the 22nd and see 22nd or 21st and show you Mercury coming around the sun, which is over to the right. So you got this energy coming in on the sun from the right and then no matter what, you get the energy pulsation. This pulsation comes from behind Earth somewhere. So there's a star that's got solar wind energy that's basically blinking, uh, the, is actually blink blinking, you know like when you see twinkle twinkle little star? Well this huge star back this way, it's bigger than the sun and it's twinkling and hitting uh, the sun's energy and the sun's energy and whatever sun this is that's way behind Earth is twinkling and, and blinking at at the sun. And then we are, and then Jupiter, you got to realize that Jupiter's up over here to the right. So basically we're going to show you where Jupiter stuff's at and get Mercury. So you can see this energy right there that I just pointed to. You see it come, it came before and it's going to come again right there before Earth did its little energy flash. See that energy? Here it comes. There it is. Can't miss it. And then Earth does it and then Sun's doing what it's doing there. So some, some great footage there. And let's go to the 22nd. Okay, save video footage time. I'm going to show you the 22nd, but I'm going to speed it up real fast because we just need to go up through it. Come on, baby. Because there's only 15 minutes. Got to get everything in, fit it in, okay? No matter what, you can see even from the CME that this is, and it is not Vesta. It's too damn big looking, and it's too damn far away from the camera. Because this is coming from over at A, remember that, okay? Got to go look at Beacon and get your map and everything. I'll probably try to put it in at the very end. For anybody that's new but you could just watch my last dozen videos and you'll realize where all this stuff's at and then we're gonna go we're gonna find even if I got to go whatever date I'm gonna find you mercury to make you realize that that's not mercury anybody that's new that that's not mercury and absolutely that's earth over there and I'll get the map and everything like that too and I think you can see earth probably flaring here on this too you can see a little bit it doesn't matter let's go to the 20 and then as you can see we got mercury there and you can see what they've done recently. They've zoomed in major league. You see how big they've zoomed in because what we found, that planet up there. You see, our planet's not there. Now we're going to go back real fast in some footage. But this is the, the most recent. And there's Earth doing its action right there. Okay, that's our electrical CME. Electrical, and yes, there's lightning in space pretty much over there. Okay, and this is all nuclear fusion off the sun. And that's our major solar wind that we've been... Uh, it's the start of some of it that we've recently got in because this is the 28th. Okay, this is the freshest footage you can get. Okay, so as you can see dramatically, that what I've showed you on the earlier dates, the idea that we had electrical energy coming in here, and that's the energy that connects to the sun. That's stars that are blinking, huge stars, the hugest stars around our solar system that we know of, because the sun's the largest thing, the largest star in our solar system. So let's go further earlier than what I've been showing you before. See, NASA doesn't like you seeing that that planet is up there, that it's not Jupiter. I've been able to prove it to you. They've zoomed in big time on Earth and Mercury here, and not been not they're not so p far panned out now, letting you see that planet that I've been showing you on the earlier footage here and on my earlier videos. So as you see, there's Mercury, and I don't have our planet. So we're going to back back up and find our planet. Wow, a huge moving fast comet I just found here. On this footage here, we'll get in it on the next video, okay? And you can kind of see it. You need to keep your eyes open. There it is, right there. There's a huge, fast-moving comet way below. And it's hella fast. And from what I can tell, the trajectory of what I've seen here lower, matter of fact, you can see it even right now in this footage. I'm trying to show you, and I'm going to show you the planet up here to the right. There is our whatever it's a, like a falling star that's huge out there in space somewhere and it came up and you're going to be able to see it in the 27 footage and I can see it also in here so here's our planet that they basically are re recently they've zoomed in on Mercury so that, that we don't be able to see because you can see that the Sun hits it that it's in one IU of of the Sun and that's not Vesta because Vesta is too